Hey guys, just want to come to you today and show you how to debadge a vehicle or maybe your own personal vehicle. Now look, you don't have to be a professional. You can do it yourself at the house. I'm going to show you this expensive tool that you have to buy. You have to go to your grandpa's shed and get a roll of fishing line. Then what you want to do is get you a good piece of fishing line pulled out that you can use. I always have my handy dandy. Cut you a piece of fishing line. Then you want to get this piece kind of like you do dental floss. This is going to help you saw or remove in between the glue and the metal and your badge, whatever it may be, okay? So then what you want to do is get it in behind it. Just go to pulling in between the lettering and the letters. And as you can see, it's very simple. Oh, I've already broke my line, which is okay. That's why I pull out a whole lot of it, okay? And throw that down, and as you can see, that pulls it completely apart. Takes it off. Throw that, and I can make a mess for the boys. Then what we usually do is we take the rest of the glue, or the goo, and we just kind of roll it up with our fingernail. Some people like to use like Goo Gone, an adhesive remover, um, acetone, thinner, there's a lot of solvents that you can use, but I really prefer just to get as much off as I can by removing it, rolling it, taking your fingernail and removing it. Because once you get it started, it comes off pretty simply. So we've went to the back and we've got in our cabinet of all of our specialty products. And look, this is a product that you can buy at your local hardware store. It's just goo gone. It's pro power goo and adhesive remover. So what we do is we spray a little on there, maybe a little on the car so it doesn't run. Then we let it do its work. Let it do its business. We're not scrubbing. We're just kind of rubbing over it. So pretend that it's a cut on your car and you're trying to bandage the boo-boo. And yes, it does take a moment. It's not going to wipe off instantly because we're taking one of the simplest forms of adhesive remover and putting it on the paint so it doesn't damage the paint. It don't soften the paint. It's not going to scratch the paint. It's just gonna take off what you need it to take off. So it takes a little bit of time so we don't damage anything. And we're getting there. About one more shot here and I think we're gonna have it. And there you are. So I've actually went and got a bottle of rubbing alcohol. Now this is 91%. Most of the stuff you buy at the store is gonna be 70, but it's gonna be fine. You're gonna spray a little of that on your towel and on your surface. What we're doing is we're just killing the adhesive remover, right? We don't want it to sit there and be eating nothing, causing any kind of damage to the paint. We're just gonna be wiping off what we put on it. As you can see, it looks pretty well. You're always gonna have a little bit of ghosting you're always going to have that shadowing on there. We can even take our hand orbital polisher and polish that off and get that a little better. But as you can see, the car has not been polished recently. So we're just going to take and get all the goo off and the glue off. And there you have it. It is smooth. And again, you're always going to have that little ghosting. But there you have it. That's how you do it at home. It's going to be simple. It's going to be easy. So some people have asked, why do you debadge? Sometimes when you get one that's been 
neglected and it has some very large lettering and you notice that the lettering is going to be discolored. Instead of a red, it's a Pepto-Bismol pink. You can't get behind it. What you would want to do is you want to get you a piece of painter's tape, put the painter's tape on it, then take your fishing line behind it so you can hold it. You'll keep it level, you'll keep it square, and you'll keep it exactly like it was on the paint. Take that off, clean it. You're going to buff that, wipe it with alcohol, and then you would put your um, emblem back on there. Sometimes people take them off because they've knocked one of the emblems off. Or maybe they want to change it from saying Mustang to a Cobra on there. So you would debadge it for that reason. Um, there's just a few reasons why you would debadge, but this is the easiest way, the cheapest way, and a way that you can do it without messing anything up at home. We appreciate you watching today. We appreciate you sticking around. We also appreciate the like and the subscribe, and we really appreciate the comments. It really helps us to continue the channel. It continues to help other detailers in our industry and the do-it-yourselfers out there to help them solve problems that they might not already know how to solve. Um, so stay tuned and stick around because there's more to come where this came from.